Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, do you sometimes struggle with paying attention in your salah? Do you wonder and get confused how many raka'at you have prayed or whether you have lost your wudu or not? And sometimes even feel tired and yawn just in salah? Well, the shaitan has many attacks prepared against us while praying. And I will share with you three and how to respond to each one of them, inshallah. Bismillah. As for the first one, then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when a person is in salah, the devil comes. فَأَبَسَّبِهِ He treats that person so kindly and gently, like the one who pets his animal. And as things feel comfortable, the devil whispers and makes the one who is praying feel like they have released air, gas from their body. And then the shaitan says to the person, إِنَّكَ قَدْ أَحْدَثْتْ You have lost your wudu. You probably need to leave the salah now. And the shaitan continues to whisper to the person, so much so that the person would start to wonder and panic. Did I really do it or not? Should I leave my prayers or stay? But no worries. The Prophet وسلم, gave us a response. He said, do not leave your prayer. فَلَا يَنصَرِفْ Continue praying unless the person is 100% sure. Not 99, 100%. Sure that they have released air from their body. And this can be confirmed by one of two ways. Either by hearing a clear sound or finding a clear smell. If someone 100%, once again, witnesses one of these two signs or both, then yes, their prayer is invalid. Otherwise, stay, continue praying and ignore the whisper of the shaitan. The second attack of shaitan to share with you inshallah is that he will try to get us to mix up the statements of salah. The times in salah when we are supposed to read Quran, he whispers to us to make dua. And the times when we are supposed to make dua, for example, in sujood, he whispers to us to read the Quran. And he would even remind us of things we have never thought of before. But once again, no worries. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, don't forget to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, gave us a response. He said, the devil who is doing this attack to us is known as Khanzab and can also be pronounced Khinzab a special designated devil for salah. And to stop his whispers and ruining of our salah, we need to respond back in the following two ways. Number one, seek Allah's refuge from him and say, A'udhu billahi min shaitan. But brother, I say it so many times in salah, nothing happens. Are you really saying it with sincerity and desperation? Oh Allah, protect me from the shaitan. He's trying to steal my salah from me. Make sure every word أعوذ بالله من الشيطان comes from the heart. Number two, وَتْفِلْ عَلَى يَسَارِكَ ثلاثة Blow three times to your left a slightly wet blow. If you do so, then the shaytan would go away in defeat insha'Allah. The third and last attack of shaytan to share with you is that he will try to get us to yawn. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, At-tathā'ubu min shaytan Yawning is from the devil. He wants us to yawn and open our mouths as wide as possible. Why? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, because the shaytan would then enter. Brothers and sisters, had he enter, he would have even more damage to our salah. It's like he has stronger Wi-Fi whisper connection in us. May Allah protect us. But once again, no worries. The Prophet ﷺ gave us a response and taught us what to do had we yawn. He said, فَلْيَكْذِمْ مَسْتَطَعْ Do your best to hold yourself. For example, bite on your lips. Or, فَلْيُمْسِكْ بِيَدِهِ You can place your hand over your mouth. This would help protect us from the shaitan having to enter into us. May Allah protect you all. This is it for now. May Allah bless your prayers and feel free to share this video so others may benefit. Assalamu alaikum.